Hello, Booktube! What's up? Happy Easter! Now, in the spirit of Easter, I have an excellent book tag for you guys today. It is the chocolate book tag I saw on Pinterest. And I was like, you know what? This looks like fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, first up on this excellent book tag is Dark Chocolate. And that is a book with a dark theme or content. And for this, I picked Identical by Hel Ellen Hopkins. Yes, Ellen Hopkins. This book is about twins that are abused by their father and I can't say too much because it'll be a lot it's like a lot of spoilers in it but this book is dark I had trouble getting through it but I did and I was I mean it was really really good and I was completely mind blown in the end but this is a really dark book next up on the extra cool book tag I don't know I'm gonna stop with the egg puns now all right all right that's done Alright, so next up on this book tag is the milk cho- no, the white chocolate, I'm sorry. It is a light-hearted book. And for that, I picked And in the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, because this book is absolutely adorable, and I think everybody should read it if they're looking for a sweet little contemporary novel. This is definitely the series to read. Next on my list is the milk chocolate. It is a hyped-up popular book that you really want to read. And for this, I decided to go with An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, because I have yet to read it, but it's very popular, and I'm pretty sure they're making a movie out of it, so that should be coming up soon. But I still haven't read it yet, and it is definitely on my list of books that need to be read ASAP. Up next in this lovely book tag is Chocolate with a Caramel Center, a book that makes you feel gooey when you read it. And I picked, dun dun dun, Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. This book is adorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made me so gooey, and I melted when I read it, and it was really, really good. Following the Chocolate with Caramel Center is a Kit Kat without the wafer inside. That is a book that surprised you. And for that, I picked Illuminae by... Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I didn't know what to expect when I first read this. I thought it was going to be all about aliens, but no, this book took me by surprise and it was a wild ride and I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait for the next book in the series and I made my friend read this, my friend Macy. She thought that it was just as wild and surprising and crazy and wonderful as I did. Now on to a Snickers bar, a book that you're nuts about. And I picked, of course, Splintered by A.G. Howard. This is one of my favorite series ever. Ugh, I go crazy about it. Every time I hear someone, every time I hear that somebody's reading it, I'm like, oh my gosh, where are you at in this? Isn't it great? Do you love it? I mean, it may be a little overwhelming sometimes, but hey, hey, the more fans of this series, the better. Because mm, I finally read Ensnared, and you guys, oh, it's beautiful. Next up is Hot Chocolate with Whipped Cream and Marshmallows. It is a comfort book that you turn to again and again and again and again and again. And for that, I picked Song of the Sparrow by Lisa Ann Sandell. This is a King Arthur time story, and it's about, um, oh shoot, what's her name? Elaine, who is, uh, she she's, helps work in the camp that Arthur and his men are at, and she does, like, um, sewing up the wounded men and making herbal potions and everything and she works with Morgan and it is this book I've read it at least six times like when I don't know what to read I go for this book and it never disappoints it always feels like I'm reading it for the first time every time and last but not least in this book tag is a box of chocolates it is a series that many readers will like and for this I picked The Selection by Kira Cass this series is absolutely great in every way, and I can't wait for book five. Like, I read fourth book, and I was just like, you cannot stop right there. That is not okay. Like, things are not okay, but mm, I can't wait for the crown. Or, no, it's, yeah, the crown, the crown. That's the fifth one. But this series, I think once you pick it up, you're... Pretty much anybody's like dragged into it. It's just that great of a series, and I think everybody should read it. 
Okay, lovely readers, and that was the end of my Hoppy Easter book tag. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Please tell me what you guys thought of it in the comments below, and don't forget to like or subscribe to my channel, because the more subscribers, the happier that makes me, and the more it makes me want to film more and more videos for you guys to enjoy. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye!